we do with AI in, in antibiotic development, um, discovery in particular, is we train an uh, AI model on what an antibiotic against a particular pathogen looks like. So, for example, Pseudomonas, one of the most difficult uh, pathogens to treat. Um, with that training, so instead of a large language model across the entire internet, we're training on compound structures that these tend to be effective against Pseudomonas. Um, with that trained model, you then comb across billion plus data sets, uh, some of them here at uh, the, Broad and MIT, uh, the Broad and Harvard and MIT. Uh, we actually, our, our main partner in this whole effort is Jim Collins, uh, uh, you know, a very renowned professor here who started in earnest really this entire field of AI for antibiotics. Um, so in his lab, he trains the AI, combs across these massive data sets of compounds. Typically these are drug repurposing libraries where compounds are coming out of pharma or um, have been tried in research labs and for whatever reason have been discarded. They're then placed in these libraries. And then you identify these un unknown um, antibiotics. So in our case, we've now used this for two breakthroughs. One was a drug that was previously studied for uh, as an anti-diabetic. One was an anti-hypertensive, both back um, in the 80s and 90s. And we found very unexpectedly that they have uh, you know, surprisingly potent antibiotic properties. So you can find these kind of diamonds in the rough. Mm -hmm.